So we've got all of the structures up that are gonna hold our solar panels. The next step is to install the solar panels. We're gonna mount five solar panels to each one of these boxes. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the first panel on by hand, and then the rest of them we'll put on when we get the lift tomorrow. It's solar day. We are gonna be installing our 30, 380 watt solar panels today. Jeff, I'm sorry, I can't put this one in place because it's just solar. I'm only here for solar, solar. <laughs> 18 inches. This way a bunch. Yeah. One more inch. Half inch. Oh, half inch back my way. <laughs> <laughs> right there okay we are moving on to the permanent installs that's awesome How's that look? That's straight? Let me stand directly under it. <laughs> it is. It's straight with the ones that were straight. The last one was over too far by a quarter inch. Oh, you're right. Good morning. This is Judy. <gasps> broadcasting from the homestead. And today is installing solar panels on the ladders that we put up yesterday and everyone's holding their breath as Jeff goes clear up to the top of the ladder to install the last one on this middle section and look at that how he sets it exactly in line oops and then down in place. Sheer genius. I'll be back with more. Bye. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by. This is Judy. I 
again filming from the homestead and this is a trial run on lowering the center ladder from its vertical position down and Amy and Lynn are in the gator as a counterweight. There it goes. What a little more. Okay, stop. Look at that. Okay, let a little more. Oh my goodness. Stop. It's working just the way Jeff envisioned it. Because it will be positioned in the summer position and then go up vertical almost for the winter position. I'm, I'm clear now. So I think they're going to leave it at an angle. They know what they're doing. I sure don't. All right, down a little more. Stop. So many years has gone by. I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something in the air Inexplicable So we are at the point of needing to dismantle our temporary solar array because we need to put them up on the big array. Right, here we go. Oh wait, you guys just moved it out again. Yeah, each trip we move it out. Yeah. Oop. Hey Lynn. Hey. Nice to see you after nice all the work done. Okay. Which side is the Niven on? Lynn is coming to my right. I don't know what that means. Or you're going downhill. Yep, this way. Let's have that copper wire <laughs> clear. Can I put it down a little? Okay. Right. No. Okay. Step here. Good afternoon. This is Judy broadcasting from the homestead on Van Ness Radio. Jeff is raising the second and putting in place the second to the last of the solar panels on the ladder that we built yesterday. He has one more to go. And then that glorious piece is done. We just put up the final solar panel on our array. They're all a little wonky, but we're gonna lower them down into our summer position and then they all should be at the same angle.
So in wiring up these MC4 connectors, the first thing we'll do is we'll separate them with the tool. And they just pop apart. So this is gonna attach to our negative side of the panels. And what looks like a female connector will connect to the positive side. I say it looks like a female connector, but it's not really a female connector. I'm not sure if there's a proper term, but how I like to think of it is that the inside parts of these connectors are male and female, and they slide together like so. But the female side actually goes into what looks like the male connector, and the male side goes into what looks like a female connector. So it's important that you don't mix those up, otherwise you'll have a problem putting them together when you get up on the ladder. Because they don't fit. Because they don't fit. So we're gonna take apart our little packing gland here and all of these slide over our wire. And then we will strip back a little bit of wire. This PV wire is very thick insulation, so it's a little harder to strip back. And then these connectors are really kind of flimsy metal, and I've had problems with these pulling apart before. So I'm not really sure if it's the right thing to do or not, but I'll do a gentle crimp on these and then solder them so they don't come out. And then we're gonna just push this connector in. There's little barbed fittings here, which will grab on inside. So you might hear a click, maybe not, but you'll know it's in when it doesn't pull back out. Then you take your, your little rubber piece, slides in around there, and then the nut. And then they give you the fancy little tools that you just wind until they click. Just like that. So the next step is to wire all the panels into the solar combiner. So we're gonna start at this number one array and start mounting the solar, the PV wire to the array and then back to the combiner box. And as we do this next part, we just need to make, leave enough slack for when we change angles. Oh, okay. But actually this, I think, would be the tightest it would be. Because when it tips, it would be looser. Right. No, it's, it's locked in. You did good. I tell you what, it's a lot easier to move this A-frame with you. Such a high center of gravity that to move it, it's just like easy.
21 points. 